was a time, a time that's flown before the net was ever known. Before you read the morning headlines on your phone, we read the Times. It never was our only source. There always were some fine alternatives, of course. But none could hope to have the scope or be the force that was the Times. It was news, but more. It was art and books. It was false news. It was tips for cooks, it was saints and schnooks, and kings and crooks and their crimes. Before the press was on the brink, back when a word was still a word and not a link. This is a story of the glory days of ink, and of the times, and much more than the times. We present the life of a man and wife in that bygone age. Every day As we start the play, it is New Year's Day, and the wife's in bed. With her husband Ted on the couch instead, and the bedroom's locked, and her eyes are red. Liz Ted, couch bed, enough said. This is the tale of Liz and Ted, and why they fought, and what they thought, and what they said, and why they hide and can't confide the way they dread. They dreamed, the dreams they shared, and how their dreams were always fed by what they read in the Times. In the Times. He hears her stir. She's out of bed. He feels her rage and lifts the page to hide his head. How will it end? We haven't said. We're out of rhymes. Let's follow Ted, the man who's led into the times. Twelve are killed in London. Explosion. Study warns of coastal erosion. Bias crimes reported increasing. Watch groups call for extra policing. Wall Street firm accused of extortion. Before the press was on the brink. Back when a word was still a word and not a link. This is a story of the glory days of ink. And of the times, and much more than the times. We present the life of a man and wife in that bygone